Hi everybody, the package has arrived so uh, I thought I'd take a look. This is my uh, Shelly EM and two energy monitoring clamps. They arrived today. I've uh, been waiting for a while. Uh, the post office have had a strike so this took over a week rather than two days. So anyway, before I set them up I thought I'd do a quick uh, unboxing video. So this is the Shelly EM itself, EM for energy monitoring. I've not seen one in the flesh before so this should be quite interesting. So. Let's, uh, let's undo that. So there we are. There's the Shelly EM module itself. Quite a small little device. I never realised they were so small. Let's just take it out of the box. Yeah, look at that. That is really small. Do the watch test. I mean, this is quite a small watch anyway, but you can see uh, the Shelly EM is tiny. So you can hide this away in a consumer unit or in any device really. Uh, to monitor discreetly the energy consumption. So here we are, look, it's uh, made of plastic, uh, grey, uh, got two channels, so P1 plus and P1 minus is one, P2 plus and P2 minus is the second channel, and then you've got live and neutral feeds to power up the device. This has got its own uh, Wi-Fi module, so this can connect to your home network, and then once it's on there, you can start to uh, manage it, which we'll do in a in a future video. So I bought with this two power clamps. So let's take a look at those. These are 120 amp uh, current transformer clamps. I'm gonna put these on a consumer unit main tail. Uh, so I got the biggest one they do, which is the, uh, the 120 amp as the picture shows. So these are current transformers. You just pop these open and then you can put your cable inside, clip it up and then the end of this you would connect to the Shelly uh, P1 and P2 uh, channels. So uh, let's just have a little measure up and see how big things are. So um, the Shelly module itself, let's take a little peek at that. So that is 30, 38, 39 mil long and that's going to be 34 wide. And then the thickness is 16, 16 and a half millimeters, so easily uh, hidden away. Um, let's look at the power clamp. So this 120 amp one, you can buy smaller. This is the largest. That's about 40, what have we got? 45 mil by 30 mil, probably 30 mil square, so have a look. 30 mil square and then the size of the cable that you can fit in there is let's do that a little bit more clearly probably 15 16 mil so as i said i'm going to be using a consumer tail so here's a 100 amp consumer tail off cut that i've got so all you would do is unclip put it over the tail and then pop that together and then that's that's all you need to do and then as i say this end of the cable just connects into the the shelly unit itself the way these work i think is quite a simple principle when you pass electricity through a cable it gives off magnetic flux if you pass another conductor into that flux you'll get an induced current and i think it turns out the induced current is proportional um, to the uh, the circuit that you're measuring so inside here is a number of coil windings so as the current flows through this main cable it will send a current into the coils in here if you've got a reference voltage which is 240 then the current uh, times the reference voltage will give you the power so nice and simple so anyway that's it for the unboxing I uh, hope you like that. Check out future videos uh, when I'll show you how to set this all up and then integrate it into your home automation system. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell uh, so you know when the next video drops. Anyway, good to speak to you all and catch you in the next one.